Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Tiny Rogues, the massively updated action roguelite. We are going to be going in here today to try and unlock the superhero class. Taking the hero to heaven is the plan. I went through all of the B-side characters except for Jester, who we kind of just played with Doppelganger and Chaos. But I kind of want to save for, like, a finale of trying new characters because it's the one I'm looking most forward to and... Potentially it's the most replayable, or is almost definitely the most replayable character. But for now, another super replayable character, the hero. You gain luck depending on how good your alignment is. So we are not really pushed down any direction. Just get good. <laughs> well, okay. Uh, get good alignment. And you're going to have a good time, is theoretically the plan. Uh, so we do have the ability to start with any type of weapon we want. Maybe I'd go dex, because this is a dex thing. Simple choice, simple plan. Sure. All right. Uh, Cupid enchantment. I am on, uh, what is it? Cinder, Cinder 12 is what I'm currently on. Wow. Because I turned off the ones that I'm most annoyed with. And one that I think is just, like, very easy, but I just don't really want to go with it right now. Uh, which is the one that makes these blind on your first choice. I don't really like that. I just, I don't find it to be that tough. I just, I just don't like it. It's simple as that. On draining an accumulated amount of one mana, trigger a volley of magical bolts that deal range damage. I mean, I could try to go for like a magic ranged build, but there's obviously on non-triggered lucky hit, triggered barrage of ice shards is already really good because we know for a fact we're going to be doing more lucky hits than normal. I am the hero. Hmm, pair. We have increased luck based off of our, our goodness. The goodness of our freaking heart. Event or bombs? I'll check an event. On entering a floor, if you don't have a soul heart, gain one. Sure. No bombs, no keys. That makes this pretty straightforward. Uh, but the things I turned off are... Uh, let's see... Bosses having enchants because it feels like there's a lot of combos that are kind of untested because, again, because they can't be tested. It's it's not possible. Oh, God. Is this worth? Oh, it could be. Whoa. Sawblade Glaive. Oh, how dare you? It's so good. Wait, Chainsaw Katana. I don't think I've used the Chainsaw Katana. We did an amazing run with the Sawblade Glaive. It's so strong. Good rerolls. I kind of want to see something else here. Sure. But I kind of want to try something else. So it's a melee weapon, but it's also a dex weapon. It's kind of fun. And it's got good range. I don't know. I feel like I might have used it, but the... Whoop, hello. This guy's still on, by the way. Woo! <laughs> Rare or a charm? This is now. This is a tough one. Man, I'll, I'll take a rare. I guess this guy is a tough early boss. I think I left on. Let's see. Nope. Surely not. Because I left on the fifty percent damage debuff on bosses. I don't think I did. I think he died way too fast, but we also have a really high tier weapon. The Sawblade Glaive, it's... Oh, it's so good. It's its so good. What do we got here? Uh, Granted Dex Scaling. I mean, that's pretty good. That's pretty darn good. Beetle Armor grants two beetles. Striking for melee damage and give you increased melee damage on kill. On kill, trigger your on taking damage effects. Oh, that's interesting. There's, that's like it's build. It's build aroundable. The deck scaling is nice, but this could. I feel like I could do a build around this that I've never been able to do before. I think I need to take some more strength, though. It's kind of the uh, the sort of bummer, annoying thing there. I 
Ooh, burger. Burger is definitely going to be, like, the best thing we could find. I don't have any keys. I don't have any keys, <laughs> so... So we'll go for this. Events. Usually going to be good. Ah. Here's the thing. I don't actually have that much to sell. If I sell the saw blade glaive, uh, maybe it's maybe worth it. Uh, so that I won't be tempted. So that I won't be tempted. It's not that it's not good. It is very good. It is very good, bordering on too good. But mostly, I just don't want to play it again. Um, yeah. Divine Cactus Flail? I could be convinced. I got more decks, but I could be convinced. Mm. But I wasn't. Just... But I could have been. The ice does cold damage, right? Yes, sir. Triple dex. We obviously take that. Thank you, Luxstat. Melee weapon or a helmet? I mean, I'll take a look at the melee weapon. I wish these icicles did, like, thrusting damage or piercing damage or whatever. We do get to apply uh, slow this way. Which might be something, might be nothing. Alright, looking for good. Looking for good. Good shot, please. On kill trigger on taking damage effects. Hunger is a buff that grants a 300% critical hit multiplier. The thing with taking is it could influence the game into giving me on kill proccing things like when you do blank proc your on kills. Trigger your on drop bomb effects. It's this or reroll. I think we take it. The range on this. Oh, it's not as bad as I remember. Just want to get as good as possible. I am plus four good. This has a cap of 50 for increased damage based on good. This has a cap of four. So we're already capped on that, but still. Probably want to go for five good. <laughs> go for five good. I mean that damage. Boop, boop. Intelligence, Serenic Masubal, I think we can do better. I would rather have strength. Because I want to get more strength perks. Because I think that the uh, on kill and on damage stuff is mostly found there. Where are you? Melee weapons drain mana. It's fun. Cool. I think we re roll that. Rage is, Rage is very good. But I have a lot of re rolls. Wait, call the weak? Wait, call the weak. This is a 25% multiplier on our damage on anybody that's been hit by an icicle. 25% multiplier. 
is a big deal. Right. Take more strength, sure. So we can get the D or the the buff, the hunger, and then swap weapons too. It's another thing we can do. Give me a key, boy. So it looks like if I swap weapons. While they die from, like, ice or something? Yeah, it doesn't have to be a kill with this weapon. I don't have enough money for the tavern anyway. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Big man's on campus. Big man's off campus. Go. Go. We need more crit chance, just like a little bit of crit chance. I guess it's going to be under intelligence to take advantage of this critical damage and our lucky strike. But we don't even need to go for like guaranteed crit business. Increased crit would do. Oh. Oh my god, I just, I literally wasn't even, I didn't even see it. Have a little dagger. Sir. Boop, whoop, whoop, whoop. Alright, on hit effect related things. Community of push and pull effects. I snore. Oops. On taking damage on kill effects. Come on, give me something. This is the rare day. I am saddened. This could be okay with the, uh, the, the that. Well, you know what? For that reason, I'll take it. 20% increased primary attack damage. 244508. It's a pretty big increase. Nothing wrong with that. That was a rare case where I actually would have preferred they take my soul heart. Because we would have gotten one back. Yeah, I would not, not mind this. Yeah, it's just not that good yet. Hmm? Guaranteed crits with the furthest attacks is good. This is baleful. Burning Trident. It's kind of fun. I want pretty fast attack speed. Oh, it's one of these swords. We have a Marth Tipper. a little bit awkward to use, though. It also actually doesn't synergize very well with um, our build in a funny way. Uh, I want the strike. Where we have lucky hits, which actually doesn't synergize that great with lucky hits. Guaranteed crits, lucky hits. Makes, them, makes it kind of redundant, in a way. So I don't know that I'm actually going to keep this. I feel like we have a lot of wasted value out of it. Lucky hits are always super effective in Grant Cheap Shot. Increase your trigger damage. Mm. 
That's one. I'm I'm thinking that this might just be better. I'll check a warrior stash. Lucky hits always being super effective is very interesting too. Feel like that's a mechanic we don't play with, is the super effective very much. Wow me. It's not bad, but I'm not gonna. Stats. I mean, if I keep the chainsaw katana, it doesn't matter. And even though this is like a, this technically attacks at the same speed as that other sword, you get a lot more hits off. It's way more flexible. I don't know. I think the other sword's... It's good. I bet you there's some builds that kind of like rips in half, you know? Because just guaranteed crits like that. Uh, you can't crit, but you always do crushing hits, for example. It'd be very, very good. So I pretty much always had cheap shot, didn't I? Okay. Legendary. Ooh. What the hell is this? To evade. I gotta admit, I don't actually care that much about that. Chill also increases critical damage taken. I don't know why it's talking about fear. This is actually really good. It's it's probably better than the cloak. I evade is str really strong, but also I snooze. I don't. I don't know. I I know I'm better than probably the average at the game, and therefore health and stuff doesn't matter as much. But I feel like I don't know. I don't think it's providing that much value. It's not providing as much value as a uh, what will be fifty percent increase. Even though it's a flat, I'll take a... This is more or less going to be 75% uh, increased critical damage all the time. Which critical damage increase is a multiplier, isn't it? God, you really want me to have salad. But we should be able to get to a point where we can make, uh, at the very least, well... Make bosses have uh, the frost all the time. That was a that was a boss kind of guy. <laughs> Petrified mana. There now. Got bomb enchants. Pawn shop. I feel like we can. Yeah, I don't know. I was thinking that was gonna be better. These could become useful. Uh, so here's the thing. Great rewards the cost of health. If I just... I just... I don't know. I don't want these. We have a curse removal, and also there's new sets in the game. On the latest beta patch. Lightest. Why are you talking like that? Alright, that's not good. Not, not interested. The alchemy stash is at least freebie. Uh, step one, just take the luck potion. I'm not convinced I want to keep this, so I... I think I'm going to go for this for now. I feel like there's got to be a better thing. Where are you? Oh, he's, he's dead. Uh, guaranteed set, guaranteed rare. I want to know. Tiny room. Uh... 
Uh. <laughs> Tiny room, man. These icicles are the thing that are doing, like, the most. Which is wild. Scouter will end up just breaking armor up on a tally of 10 primary attacks. Shoot missiles out. Scouter's good and all, but it's going to break. I'm not impressed. I don't want armor. I'm not impressed by this. I'm disappointed. Bomber. Bum, bumber. <laughs> Bomber garb. Uh, reduce bomb explosion delay. Two set, you have infinite bombs. Assume 100%. Okay, that's cool. As boring as it is, we're going to take this, though. I, I don't think we're pivoting into a bomb build right now. Good shot, good. So, it says I have that, well, okay, because I only have suppression on the first ones. I, I don't care about any of these, so I'm just going to do this for the five. I'm going to be going to heaven, so there's going to be more dragons than fiends, so I'll just say this for now. Unless I want to, like, drink a useless potion and sell this, I think it's probably a better call. Could have done that too. Don't care about those, but we do get a little bit of value, I suppose. For now. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be crazy. That's a lot of value, but I'm just gonna say no. On kill, get demon rage. Increase attack speed with the demon blade. It's another on kill. I'll admit I'm very curious. But I need something that gives me um, the ability to quote-unquote, take damage without having to take damage. This I know this is not doing anything yet. I'm waiting. I'm trying to... I feel like I maybe even, like, rolled past something that's normally crap. Because we have a, a unique synergy. companion sign makes them take 50% increased damage from companions wait that's kind of interesting that's really interesting that's a that's a summon build right there demon blade is Flapping the DPS out of this world. I just need a good perk. This is really good. It's an it, it's more or less another twenty five percent multiplied increased damage due to the way it combines with Call of the Week. This perk plus uh, Ice con Conjuration plus Call of the Week fifty percent multiplied, multiplied. Damage done. Kinda nuts. Okay. They're close enough for that. They're uh, in trouble. I think we go for the epic here. I don't need... I was gonna say, I don't need an accessory, but that's not a very <laughs> exciting one.
Don't do multiplicatives, kids. Not once, nor two times that, nor two times that, nor two times that. What is this? Luck and curse are equal to the greater of the two values. I just get super cursed. <laughs> okay. Increased effects of debuffs. Wait. This is a one-hander. Uh, unfortunately, that's not a debuff. Fatigue is a debuff. So it helps me with my multiplicatives. It's better than the 20% increase, I would say, probably. Probably. Straw Talisman? I mean, yeah, I don't know. If only the uh, the Frost counted as a debuff for the extra movement speed, but still. <laughs> Banana! Hey, yo. Uh, hold on, ice cream. I'm an ice man. I'm an ice man. Um. What the? Uh, hell. Sir! Call the freaking plane in here, dude! Okay. I don't know. It's not giving me anything with it. I think they're good enough to have, I guess. Huh. I do feel like this is more likely to be the thing. I can't think of what the on-kill stuff is. The Cerebro's still doing absolutely nothing for me. I, I'm waiting for an item to show up. That's that kind of looks a little bit more impressive. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, 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 wah. Sure. I have a summon. Challenging. Tin can. Okay. I, mean, I guess I can keep it for now. I. You never know when the. Uh... Okay. Cool. Fun. Yep. All right. Ooh, we do extra damage to dragons. This is actually a really tough boss. So I'd love if you just exploded really quick. <laughs> Not a tough boss if you don't have to fight it. Attack speed increase, stinker. Uh, poison hit damage, dash length. Increased effective shock. Uh, yeah, we go for the... We get the 20% uh, increase attack speed, obviously. Hmm. That's, that's a tougher choice. Ah, I was trying to rock the uh, the buff to the next room. October fist. Uh, 
Oh my lord. Glad we have that extra dodge. I felt kind of uh, very vulnerable there. All right. Give me something cool. Trigger your dash effects. Hunter's mark is good. Precision can be good. Uh, alacrity is it's very good. A is only at 25%. On a tally of 10 damaging triggers, gain 10 stacks of trigger mania. Which is 100% increased attack speed. 10 damaging triggers. That seems really good. I could also have my equip load and not even bat an eye right now. Maybe I'll get something. Okay, 100% crushing chance. Nothing to scoff at. The damaging trigger thing could have been interesting. I mean, glass can is very strong. Stop it. Stop it. Uh... Ooh, we gotta get those triggers going. Go! <laughs> yeah, we get one trigger going, and all of a sudden, enemies just go pop, pop. Bye, bye. This guy. What a joker. How's this? 20% increase companion damage. There's companion builds now, man. Increase effect of gloom. Increase mana flux. Um, on a, is this a trigger? Hmm. What am I looking for? I feel like I'm not super impressed. I don't care about increased effect of gloom. Got nothing with that right now. It's nerf or nothing. I'd rather have this. We're, we're getting near the end here. Good shop, I'll, I'll check. How do you have 100% crushing? Uh, 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 well, good, I am. Grant Archangel. Grants 50 to 100 radiant damage. I mean, a companion build with that angle would have been pretty cool. I don't need to be any more good than I am. I'm capped out. Cool stuff here. I should have taken those, but whatever. Maybe the game will give me something more exciting. Chill out! Come here! 
This ice blast is just amazing. I could be convinced. I could be convinced. Triggers an explosion on hit. I mean... I have so many things that use triggers, but... If anything, I'm kind of curious about this. Oh, this is a strength scaling. Oh. This is a nothing scaling. Interesting. The base damage is crazy high, but it scales on nothing. But it always crush does crushing hits. I'll, I'll look at it for a room. If it always does the crushing hits, then um, it's always doing that crazy high top end damage. It's also at a nice distance. Hmm. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll eat the cursed broccoli. Actually, I don't know. I think the rupture, like just using the rupture and then swapping back is just a better call. This thing just is proving to be really, really good. We just whoop, get the 10 stacks and swap. I have cursed, don't I? This makes me even more good. later. I will always look for a legendary. Yes. I will always look. Uh. Come here. Come here. Coward! Fight me, coward! Blip, 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 blip. It's gloves. It's good. Ugh. Safety. Whack. If we had the permanent potions, I'd be in. Do we take it to sell? When did I get an extra tipsiness stack? I know I had... Wait. Did I have cheese? I had two cheese? When did that happen? I'll take it to sell. I don't care that much about the evade, and I'm not going to encumber myself for it. Evade's good. If you need it, it's very good. ba 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 ba, -ba. Oh. If only we had evade. Adjust. Why are... Why are they taking so long to die? Why are they so tanky? Uh-oh. 
not a good time. John Cena! Gotta just jump. Alright, Dev, I will like this guy a lot more if you play the John Cena theme when he shows up. Then I'll say, okay, he's perfectly fine the way he is. Until then, he sucks. But if the John Cena theme plays as soon as he breaks through the wall... Alright. He can, he can exist exactly how he is. Just too much money, but... Just give me a level up. Let's put this... This run out of its confusing, uh... I guess we could have got rid of the Cerebro Helm. I'm still coping that there is going to be... A thing that has a buff here. That has something to do with it. Increased effect of buffs and aura radius. Come on. Well, there's that. Didn't really want to just do uh, another, like, trigger build, but, like, we gotta. We gotta take that. It's the obvious choice of the of the bundle. Uh, we'll just get a soul heart by going to the next floor. I have so much money. More tipsiness, huh? I'm so rich that I'm just going to do it. I, I, I still don't have boots, and Cerebro can definitely go, because the game does not want me to... Uh, does not want me to mess with it. Trigger. Okay. Trigger. Go. Some kind of this is intimidates. Uh, they take more damage. I could put this on on the final floor. And then we get, what? 60% faster recovery, 20% crit chance. It's probably, it's probably better at that point. Right? Yeah. I, I just don't think Cerebro's... I don't think it's in the cards today. It's just not... <laughs> it's just not working. Uh, and I'm not going to be able to get any more equip load for what it's worth. On combat starts. 45% more bosses get 22.5% more. That's yeah, pretty good. Pretty freaking good. Pretty freaking good. We don't need to enter the room with this weapon, which means I'm kind of starting to think we just keep holding this weapon. If I get the thing that makes Cerebro work, I'm going to lose my mind. I will lose my gourd. A uh, flip a lid. Oh, wait. I forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot about this. Hey, 
What are you doing in here? It helps you get your first um, on kill proc, which is really nice too. God, my damage is awful when I haven't gotten a lucky trigger. So why is there a totem here, but it says there's no enchantment? What's up with that? Stop. I guess so. I could definitely be hit twice on this floor. I am close ranged as hell. Uh, increase damage with non crits or a resin. I don't crit as often as you would think, because my base crit chance isn't very high, but that is going to change. We already do the cold, so. Ah! John Cena! All right. <laughs> okay. I love that it shows where he broke through the wall, too. Ah. I'd field a new weapon. I would field one. Um, I have two gloves that I'm interested in, so I'm going to say no. I'd take a helmet. I don't think there's anything we'd want to reroll. We have a, we built a really weird, like, super strong kind of a thing. Okay. So we get the buff, and then we swap to this for the start. If you're willing to get crazy with it, you can get in there. A melee build is probably not the one to do it on. This attack is kind of like a trap in a way. You want to move not very much. Feels like you want to move a lot. Uh, come on. Oh, I'm out of dashes! See, there we go. We did use both of our uh, soul hearts. Oh, boy. Okay. What a, what a thing that was. Alright, uh, this is extra companion. That's better, for sure. Um, wait. Huh. Of luck taking effect. I'll do it. Does that include... Oh, that... oh, if I swap over, then it's... Is this a 10, at least? <gasps> okay. Perfect. When we swap to this, we're, we're at perfect equip load. Why is my weapon blinking? Why is my weapon blinking? Is it... Is there something wrong with it? Is there something wrong with my weapon? But yeah, alchemy gloves with all of these potions we're going to put on. going to be great. I'll take any potions that we see here. Uh, I think we take this. Um... What's happening?
the range on it is so bad. Okay. Damage non-crits. Ideally, we don't care that much about that, but... In case it does include... Hmm. Okay, chance... In case it does include triggers, which I don't think it does because there's an on-trigger damage thing. We will grab it, we'll keep it. Trait Tome, I could be convinced. But attack speed's really good because we get a lot of triggers. Oh! It kind of takes away some of the RNG of the RN very RNG build. Booze, we can definitely take a couple. Please be one I don't have. I think it's one I don't have. Nice. <sighs> I'd love a trigger damage up. It's kind of my main vibe right now, but I think we can deal. We got, we got all these? Why does it look like we only have three? Oh, because he's hiding behind me. Alright. We definitely want to start with this, even if we're not going to use it, because we get the extra damage boost. Get the trigger. Finish your tech. Uh, oh, come the hell on, that combo. <laughs> it's so stupid. Doesn't feel like those guys should be there. It's how, how dumb, man. How dumb. All right, we're done. We had an extra revive. We had our potions. We're still, we're still good. Look close. Was it that close? Skip, 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 skip. And importantly, we should have theoretically unlocked the superhero. I don't know. I, I really... I'm bummed. We had some tools that... I was wearing them when they were useless for a long time, hoping the game would give me something, because there is that system that in, is influenced by what you're wearing to give you, hopefully, stuff that's relevant for your build. I was trying to, you know... Trying to use it. Where is the superhero? I'm hoping it's you. Okay, good. Your first trait selection, you get to choose a superpower. That's pretty fun. I'm excited to see what that's about. Look pretty similar uh, to the normal hero, interestingly enough. Either way, alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it for today for Tiny Rogues. If you'd be sad to see the series go, gotta let me know in the form of a comment down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you. And I will see you next time. Bye.